Hey guys. So, like always, I'm sitting in the car before work. It's 6.13 now. I got here at 6, so. It, I got here a little bit later than I normally do, but it's not bad. I got my spot, my parking spot, so that's good. But anyways, um, so one thing that I've been doing that I've been trying to do in the mornings like you know already, I've been trying to plan. I, I try to do that either the day before or the day of. And I give myself like a little like idea of what I want to do, like just write stuff down. And then when I wake up during that day, um, I'll start filling in my, my daily plan because I never know what time I'm actually going to get up and I would like to have all that stuff written in well but another thing my second thing that I've been doing in the mornings is I've been doing a daily affirmations thing and that might be a little bit silly but I feel like for me I'm constantly like I put myself down a lot of times. I just, I just do. And I don't know if it's something that is normal for everybody, but I just, I say things to myself like, God, I wonder how today's gonna go. Or God, I'm look, like, I, I feel, like I feel a certain way. I feel tired, I feel, uh, ugly maybe like uh, some days so in my bullet journal I have a daily affirmations area where I try to go in and it's it this is new so I try to go in and write down um, well at least the affirmations area in my journal is new I've been doing this on scrap I say things to myself like you're awesome you're the best I write down like that I can do anything. And I try to to not just say you are the best, you can do anything. I try to turn it around and say, I am the best or I can do anything. To my my um, affirmation for today was, um, always put yourself first, you deserve it. Um, which is true because I think as a woman, I don't know, if you know, I'm not a guy. I don't know if this is the same for guys, but I know as a woman, or for me at least, I always put other people first. And the other day, I was having the shittiest day, just the shittiest day, and I was trying to sit back and think, why did I have that shitty day? Why? Like, what could I have done to have changed that? And in retrospect, I could have done a lot of things that could have made my day better. One thing is I was giving too much. If I had some time off, I would say, don't worry about that, I can do that. Like, don't worry about that, I can do that, don't worry. Like, like I, would t I was telling everybody that, oh, oh, I can do that, don't worry about it. When I could have just let them take care of it. They were already doing it, they were already working on it. Why? won't I let them worry a little bit instead of putting all the work on me right like give some of that responsibility or just let them have the responsibility instead of just taking on the responsibility and then being overwhelmed with how many things I have to do I did that to myself and at the hospital sometimes things are kind of calm and then all of a sudden they're crazy so when they're calm I was putting I was putting work on me and when they were busy I was well they were busy I had all that stuff to do and so I was like at some point during the day I was like I'm beat I have given all that I have to give for today all my energy I have given away and so now I want to go home <laughs> and so yeah I need to learn to put myself first and do my job the best that I can and let other people take on some stuff on their own or just don't don't give your time out 
so easily. And then also, like, I'd rather, like, do stuff for somebody else instead of, instead of worrying about me. Like, I'd rather take on the hard job because I feel bad for somebody instead of just being like, well, sometimes you have hard times or sometimes you have hard days, sometimes you have easy days. This is the same for everybody else. Don't feel bad for them because they have a hard day. It's their hard day. Let them have a hard day. It can't always be an easy day for everybody else but you, right? So that's another thing that I that I did wrong on that day. But yeah, that's one of another thing that I've been trying to do in the mornings. It's a little bit cheesy, but I and I've been thinking like sometimes people with very high self-confidence for us we feel like for us normal people we feel like they're just so full of it you know like we're just like god you think too much of yourself or something like that like conor mcgregor i love conor but other people would just they hate him and they want to see him lose so they can so they can they can watch him put his foot in his mouth or something like that but I love it. I love that confidence. I think that confidence is great. And I wish I had that self-confidence. And I think that, well, in some, some book that I was reading, I can't remember which one it is right now, but I was reading that whatever you tell yourself has a lot to do with how much you achieve in your life. So if you say to yourself, why would I go for that? That is so unattainable for me, or that's unattainable period. Like some people don't want to do modeling or some people don't want to go for that acting job because they're like, that is so high up there. I just, it's not even, it's not even realistic, but it is realistic. It is realistic because that person achieved it, you know, like, well, I'm trying to think of somebody, um, Connor, let's just say Connor. Connor would not be at the level that he's at if he didn't have confidence in himself. If he would have been like, I can't beat that guy. Like, like, man, like, I can't, like, I have to say that I can, but in reality, I don't believe that I can. And so you won't train hard enough. And if you don't train hard enough, you're not gonna, you're obviously not gonna win because you didn't train that well. So, yeah, or if you say, I want to be a doctor, but I'm stupid or I, I, I'm dumb. I've never had straight A's. Then you're never going to be a doctor, right? Because then you're not putting, you're not giving yourself that confidence to go for, for it and take the classes and work hard and learn the things that you need to learn so that you can be a doctor. You have to really talk to yourself and give yourself that confidence boost. I've been trying to to learn to be more self-confident. And for that, I have to say great things to myself. Like I can achieve whatever I want to achieve because anybody can. Anybody can achieve whatever they want to achieve. It's just a matter of believing and knowing that you can because honestly, you can all you got to do is believe and I'm working I'm, I'm trying to work on that myself another thing <laughs> a third thing that I'm doing different in the mornings or just this is like an overall day kind of thing is that I'm trying to take some time to myself to journal and so this is the thing that I've done here and there sparingly sporadically but I have learned that if I put my thoughts onto paper, then I can get them out of my head. So, and I've always known that. That's why I make a list all the time and I put them in my pockets, you know? And that way I don't have to waste my energy trying to remember or trying to, or thinking of the same thought over and over in my head, you know? If I put it down on paper, if I think, what did I, what was I thinking earlier today? I can just go down to my paper and look and see what I was thinking. So yeah, so my journal has been a big help for me. So like this morning, 
I was coming to work this morning and I was feeling very stressed. And honestly, I have no idea why I'm feeling stressed. So since I have extra time just sitting here in the car, I'm, I started writing, you know, like, and it doesn't mean that I'm gonna find the answer to my, to my, <laughs> what's causing my stress, but if I can put all my thoughts down on paper, then whatever is stressing me would, will probably fall in to my journal. So it's simple. I didn't know how to start. And so I was like, I would just wrote down, why do I, why are you stressed? What's stressing you? And I try to say sweet things to myself because just because I got to be good to myself. Why are you thinking so and so so much? And then I just start writing down like my thoughts and and my ideas and say you need to stop. The stress is not going to help you. It's not going to help your day go on better. Worrying will not make your day better. It's just going to ruin your day. My friend Brenda yesterday, we were just kind of chatting. I think she was at work board and we were just chatting and she said this cute little phrase that I thought was super cute, super cute. And it's probably something that is just going to stick with me. And that's something about talking to people is that they, sometimes they say things or they give you ideas and you're like, wow, I didn't think of that before. But she said that this phrase, um, we are here for a good time, not a long time. And so I've been thinking to myself, I've been thinking to myself today when I was feeling stressed is that same phrase that we are here for a good time, not a long time. So stop stressing, stop, just stop. Worrying is not going to help you. It's just going to kill your joy. So why even worry about it? Don't worry about it. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Worrying is not going to make things better. It's not it's not going to change things unless you go out there and change it. But if you can't change it, then why worry? Right? Just let it happen. If you're worrying that somebody's not going to be a certain way or act a certain way or I don't know. I'm trying to think. If you're worrying that somebody's not going to call you or if you're wondering, are they going to call? Or where am I going to go today? Like, what is my schedule? My, what is my day going to look like today? Where am I going to be scheduled to? What rooms am I going to be scheduled? All that is just a joy killer. Like, you can't choose that. And when you're actually there, like... Stressing about it won't change it. Once you get to work and you know what your schedule is going to be or where you're going to be sent to, then you can be like, if somebody wants to trade with you, then you can, then that's great. If not, then just deal with it. Just kind of do the best you can to make the time the best you can. And that's all you can do. So yeah, it's a short video today, but that's the things that I'm that I'm trying to do in the mornings. Yeah, and I've been finding so far that they've been super helpful. So, yeah. Tell me what what are some of the things that you do in the morning? Have is there anything that you used to not do that you are now doing that you feel that are helping you? I know one thing about me is that I've, I've always been a spectator, always in my life. I love to look at people, I love to people watch. I think it's so interesting to see how people act and react and all that stuff. So I've always been a spectator. I've always been, I've always been in my head. I've always, not always, always, sometimes I'm, loud and I say what I think and I don't think twice about it I just say it I just blurt it out and it's gotten me into a lot of trouble <laughs> sometimes it's gotten me into a trouble sometimes it's just fun but I need to get out of my head because sometimes I am guilty of overthinking things all the time and I would sit there and just kind of 
think and think why did somebody do this to me what did they think what blah 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 and i keep just thinking of these things and it's just a joy killer it's just a joy killer life is not gonna be fun unless you make it fun and there's sometimes that you can't get yourself out of your head and you're just thinking and thinking and thinking and you can't get yourself out of your head like me i have a hard time when i'm the other day when i had that bad day i think it started around i don't know 10 in the morning and i was like fuck it like whatever i'm i'm not gonna let that bother me i'm just gonna go over there and just keep doing what i'm doing i'm having a good day and just still something would cause me to be like i don't know maybe i felt disrespected or maybe i was thinking like why did they do that like like what do they have to talk to me like that like like okay that's fine let it go let it go i just kept trying to say let it go and then finally I don't think it was even one. I think it was like midday. I was like, I'm over today. I'm over it. I'm just done. I want to go home. And I mean, at 11, I still, I mean, 12, I still had seven hours left to, to be at work. And I was like, everything that just kept, kept happening, I kept just so making me more and more upset, more and more upset, more and more upset. And then at seven, I was just like, I bursted. I bursted before 7, like 6, 5.30. I was already like, get me the hell out of here. Like, I don't want to be here. I, right now, I could just throw in a towel and just go home. I know Julio would be mad. I know everybody would be mad. And then maybe I won't have money. But you know what? I don't fucking care because I just want to go home. I'm tired of being here. Not everybody sucks, but some people that I work with that day suck balls and I do not want to be here and yeah so I had a terrible terrible day I think I was tearing up or some people were trying to talk to me and I was like don't even don't even talk to me <laughs> I'm over it I'm over everybody yeah that was a hard day I don't, I don't remember having such a hard day in a long while. But yeah, today's a brand new day. It's going to be a good day. We're going to make it a good day. We're going to not let things stress us. I learned from that previous day to take it easy. And I am not going to let something stress me. Because it's not, it's not worth it. It really isn't worth it. So yeah. There you go. <laughs> that was a little bit long of, of a rant. But yeah, I'm just trying to help myself with my overthinking because I do a lot of that. So yeah, this weekend's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I have something planned for tomorrow. Today, I'm going to sleep because I only slept three hours last night. Tomorrow, I get to go see a friend and the next day I might go see a, I might go see a friend again and I'm going to get back into my weight my weight training my bodybuilding training so yeah and I've lost some weight guys I'm down to 125.6 so that's good from 135 that's 10 pounds so and I can definitely notice it in my body yeah all right guys um if you haven't subscribed um and you would like to to subscribe I hate that word I don't I don't know why I can't say that word if you would like to subscribe then go ahead I'd love to have you um, like this video if it gave you any ideas of anything that you'd like to change or that you'd like to um, to put in or add to your morning routine I don't really have a routine but I'm gonna try to make something happen here all right guys um, but yeah give me a like if you like the video and I will see you next time okay all right. I love you. Bye.